Hi, we're Val and Sadie, and we have lived and traveled in this van for the past two years. In this video, we would like to talk about and show you what it's like to live in a van with a cat. Sadie and I have been together 11 years. I got her when she was a baby. She was a little kitten. And a friend found her under their house all by herself. She was just a little tiny baby kitten. She was crying and they heard her. And they were trying to find her at home. And I met her and we just fell in love. It was an instant bond. She was so sweet. And she wanted a mommy. And so... <laughs> The rest is history. We've been inseparable ever since. So over that time, gotten to know each other's likes and dislikes and have learned to coexist in the same space. It's gotten better and better over time and we don't fight as much as we used to. <laughs> so we've worked out our differences. One thing I've learned about Sadie is, well, like most cats, she's nocturnal and likes to at least she used to like to stay up all night causing all kind of ruckus and running around being loud meowing and that's not that doesn't work for us humans that need to sleep at night so we work something out where I feed her right before bedtime because when she eats she goes to sleep now she's in the routine of sleeping all night so i don't know when it started but the last many years she she knows she's in her routine she knows that when mommy goes to bed it's time for everyone to go to bed and she will sleep all night it doesn't matter if she's taking naps during the day so that's really nice and we usually get to cuddle if it's cold enough. She loves to cuddle and get under the blankets with me. And she's just the perfect little cuddle buddy. I love it. She's getting older, so she's not moving around as much. Even though I try to get her outside as much as possible to exercise, I think that this space is big enough for her to get enough exercise for her needs. If she was a younger cat, um, she'd probably need more because they have a lot more energy and they just need more space maybe. I don't know, but just from my judgment, I think it's enough. She has plenty of things to climb up on. She has places to hide. She has lots of windows to look out of and being a cat owner for 12 years, that seems to be all they need. I don't think they need that big of a space. They like, I mean, Sadie loves her van, to be honest. She loves, I can tell she feels very safe here. She knows this is her safe space. She loves being here. Even when we go out to the desert and I open the sliding door, she spends most of her time just sitting in the van looking out. People might be concerned that this space isn't big enough. That's fine if they wanna be concerned, but I'm not concerned. I don't think it's a problem at all. I just made a little parfait. Just like with any new thing or change, it was a little hard to adjust to van life for Sadie. I would say it took a couple of months before she started settling in and realizing this was her home and safe space. And the longer she lives here, the better she is. We've lived in this van for two years now. So that's plenty of time to adjust fully and this is just normal for her. She knows this is her home and every cat is different. Every cat's going to handle the situation different. But for Sadie, she's very good. She likes to stay close to me and stay close to her home. She's always been that way. She doesn't wander off very far. She never has. Um, even when we lived in an apartment in Atlanta, I would let her go outside all the time 
because I knew she would come back and I knew that if I called her, she would come back immediately. What happened when we first moved into the van, so she's never liked car rides, even when we would go to the vet. She would just howl and scream as if she was being murdered. She really hated it. So that's what she did at first when we moved into the van. Anytime we moved, she would make that noise. She would just look so panicked and like be looking out the windows like, where are we? What is this? Where are we moving? She'd be freaking out, but she got used to it. And now anytime we move, she knows the drill. She just jumps in my lap, takes a nap or just chills she's totally fine now but during that transition we just try to keep her as comfortable as possible and soothe her and it was a little hard for her but we made it another thing is she didn't really understand that she needed to stay in the van but we learned how to communicate that she learned um my cues for when she needs to stay in the van and when it's okay to go out she's so smart of course, not every cat is going to be that easy to communicate with. I did have a cat that it doesn't matter what you said, she didn't care. She was just going to do her own thing. <laughs> Talking about you, Lucy. Lucy is my first cat and she's living with friends in Atlanta because she and Sadie didn't get along. It's a whole story, but she's fine. Anyway. So sometimes when I would be like in a parking lot in the city and I would stop and I'd get out, Sadie would be sitting in the floor and she would jump out too and just like go under the van and I'd be like, no, no, you can't do that. And I would have to like get her, it'd be a whole fiasco trying to get her back in the van. I mean, she would never run far, but sometimes she would just sit under the van where I couldn't get to her, but now she's finally learned that every time we stop she can't get out mommy's gonna be going in and out of the van quite often and that doesn't mean that it's okay for Sadie to she'll just come towards the door and I just hold my hand in front of her and she knows that she needs to stay and she stays she knows the difference like when we're in a parking lot she knows she's not going outside but when we go out to the desert she gets excited she knows She's about to go outside and she gets close to the door and starts meowing. And then I open the door, I say, it's okay. And then she runs out. She runs out and starts exploring. I do have a vacuum to help get the hair up when she does shed. And just, just to keep the van clean, like vacuum up any dirt, but it's mostly Sadie's hair. She likes to sit here and perch. Also, her food is down there, so she just kind of sits there and watches and waits for food to appear in her bowl. It's kind of Sadie's area. We got her toilet here, and then I feed her right here. We're in the process of turning this into her new bathroom, though. It was the shoe cabinet, but I decided to move the shoes over here because I don't have that many shoes, really. I just put them on the back of the seat here because this litter box is kind of an eyesore and it would be nice to just open this space up a little more because every inch counts i took this shelf out yesterday from here and i'm gonna put a litter box here and we're gonna cut a hole right here so that she can go in and out from there and that'll be her bathroom and we'll have some shelving up here, probably to put her food and stuff. I keep her collar and her harness and leash up here. So it's close to the sliding door when we're out and about. One thing I love about this is I can just put this on her when she's roaming around. And I can always hear her because of the bell. I just got like a really good bell from Amazon or something. And she also has her home again tag she has a microchip so if she does get lost and a nice person finds her they can reach out and contact me but we only do that when she's off the leash and this is her harness she did not like the harness at first when we first started trying to train her to walk on a leash 
she absolutely hated it it just took a lot of time and patience and persistence and consistency to get her used to it and train her and now she loves it she doesn't have a problem with that at all she knows that she gets to be outside and enjoy nature so she loves it i'll show you how how we put it on it's pretty easy i've tried a few different harnesses and this one's from petco it's my favorite one so far it's made specifically for cats like she can slip out of it if she needs to but she doesn't too easily and just slips over her head like that She already knows and then it comes around here it goes through the loop and it just goes under her and it snaps like that and the hook is right here and where's the leash and we have this retractable leash um, it's called whisker kitty and it's I think it's also from Petco it's smaller than a dog leash. They don't need a strong leash because they don't pull as hard as a dog. But yeah, it just snaps right on there. It does that. It has the stopper if she's going somewhere she doesn't need to. And it works perfectly. It, I think it's about 10 feet or so. But I'm going to take it off because we're not going outside right now. We are in a Home Depot parking lot right now. It all looks easy now, but it just took some time to get used to everything. Everything, you know, in time, it becomes easier and easier. The only time I use the leash is when we're around people or cars, and I can't just let her roam free. The only time I let her roam free is if we're, like, way out in the wilderness, and there's, like, no one around, and there's no trees around, so I can see her. She only goes within, like... 50 feet of the van really and as long as I can hear her bell then I know she's close enough and I'll just check on her every once in a while to make sure she's okay but before that before we were able to let her just roam around before I knew um, she was gonna stay close before we got to that point we have this really long leash I think we got it from Amazon maybe but this this one gets really long i can't remember how long it is but we just tie one end to the van and then hook the other hook this one to her harness and she can just just walk around the van but the only thing with that is she would get wrapped around tires or stuck on a twig or a rock or something and get stuck so we'd still have to watch her but we knew that all we had to do was just follow the green leash and we would find her at the other end. So that was um, a good way to get her used to staying close to the van. And now we don't really use it that much. So I drove around town and I found this park. It looks big enough to where we'll have our own little space to walk around to walk Sadie. Sadie thinks I'm supposed to feed her right now, but... We got like two hours before her food time. I just walked around. It's quite lovely outside. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So we're going to get her harness on. There are some dogs around. If there's too many people or too much noise or dogs and stuff around, then she gets too distracted and she gets scared and she won't walk. She'll just sit there and look around. So hopefully there's enough space between us and everything else to where she will walk and just enjoy herself outside. You wanna go outside? You go outside? Let's go. Let's go. This way. Yeah. <laughs> She's waiting for that door to open. You ready? Yeah. 
beautiful willow. These flowers blooming are so pretty all around. time she sees grass she eats some and usually she throws it up later in a van you ready to go back inside lovely day by the park today i was off work it's a saturday parked beside the park and just got out ever every so often and walked around and enjoyed the beautiful day and now um i'm editing some video and it's 20 minutes before sadie's last feeding time and she's already screaming at me she usually starts hollering at me when it starts getting close to her dinner. Like so. Okay, she's been waiting very patiently. Time to feed the muffin. Time to feed her. Turn the light on so you can see. Oh, you're just starving. I want to feed you around here. I'll take this opportunity to brush her. This is a really cool brush because it's called Hateli. Um, when you brush them and the fur is here, you just push the button on the back and it pushes all the hair up and you just pull it right off. So it's really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna brush you. Brush the girl. All the excess hair off. You so pretty. You so pretty. Ooh, that's a lot of fur. You just gonna push it up. Pull it all the way off. Wow, that's a lot. Sadie is tuckered out as she usually is when she finishes eating for the night. She's just a long girl. She's going night night. Ooh, sweet baby. Sweet girl. And she's gonna sleep all night. She's a good girl. Well, this is good night, and we'll see you the next time. It will probably be when we go out to the desert, because I'll be working the next couple days, and I won't be filming. So, we'll see you then. Sadie likes hanging up here in the loft. She just jumps. Jumps up there, and then jumps up there. She loves it up there. My sweet girl. She has a great view of outside. Look at that view. So we're out here in the desert. So Sadie has her bell collar on so she can just run around freely as she wants as long as she stays close by, which she has been very good today. Um, she's been, been very good since we've been here. Exploring a little bit, getting her exercise and enjoying the nice outdoors. Just chasing little critters around being a cat 
We're so happy. We're both happy girls. We, lo we love being out here in the wilderness. Yeah, you can have some lettuce. She loves lettuce. I think there's something in that bush that she's trying to catch, but she can't get to it. <laughs> okay, it's time to shave Sadie. She knows it's time to shave you, Sadie. But also time to eat, so that's your favorite thing. Your least favorite thing and your favorite thing. All in one. You had so much fun today playing outside. Oh, all this fluff is going to go away. All this fur that's coming out. First we gotta get a can of food. That's the only way we can shave her. Now let's go to the back. Close that up. Alright, come on Sadie. <laughs> come on. Yeah, you know. You know what time it is. You know. Get all set up. Let's take this off. Get naked. I leave it in the can so it's harder for her to eat it, so she eats it slower. And I have more time to shave. Okay, let's start. better there's still some places I like to trim up like her tail has a few places that are so long but we got most of it off so that's gonna help a lot with the shedding keep her nice and cool so this is the finished product of Sadie's new bathroom so she has her toilet down there and then we got her brush her clippers that she just absolutely loves and her food there, and some other things. And that's a little hole that she goes in and out of. She's so happy. <gasps> well, I think that's all for this video. I try to cover everything I could think of involving living with a cat in a van. But yeah, every cat is different. You just have to kind of see what works best for you and your fur baby. If you have any questions about anything, anything that I left out, please feel free to drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, click that red subscribe button. That would be totally awesome. And I am so grateful for all of you already subscribed and following the journey. So until the next adventure, peace.